What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to episode number 43 of my Rise to Fame Ultimate Team series. We're in Division 1 guys and currently we've had a pretty decent start to Division to the, the division with 2 wins and 0 losses. And we come up against this Premiership team. He's got a really, really strong attack and a, a decent midfield. Not the best defence um, and only 96 chemistry with the manager in the right formation. So I was quite confident coming into the game and in the 7th the minute we get some... Uh, Corners are OP. Corners are OP. Jolie and Lescott, they're getting the jump. And the guy that I've got on the line, don't know who that is, just standing there watching the ball sail over his head. Thank you very much. I felt like I needed a change. I really wasn't feeling what was going on. And I'm not a big fan of Torres. So I bought on Darren Bent for Fernando Torres. Torres has actually got better stats than um, Balotelli, believe it or not. I, ha I did some very deep searching into that and had a look at their stats on each player. And uh, Torres is a better, but I love Balotelli so much. And near post OP, near post OP. Telling you guys, Mario Balotelli, near post OP, corners OP. This game is all about how much you can abuse the overpowered stuff in the game. And uh, unfortunately in this game we have both abused one thing each. Um, it was a very, very, very even game. My passing was a little bit better. Maybe maybe I should have just scored with the amount of shots I had on target compared to him. But I think 1-1 one, one was a fair result. And we're looking pretty decent in Division 1 now with 7 points from the first 3 games. Still 7 games remaining. Shouldn't be too bad. And we come up against this Dutch side. It's a strong side, you know, Johnny Heitinger there as a centre-back, he's got Elia, he's got Mario Emnes, who's really, really fast with four-star skills, and Klaus-Jan Klaus Jan Huntelaar, and this was one of those games, guys, that FIFA throws up for you every once in a while, I get people tweet me this kind of stuff all the time, uh, this guy's using a black ball, which I don't really like, uh, it's really, really hard to see the black ball, uh, I really prefer the coloured balls or the uh, the white ball. But uh, yeah, this was a, a really, really interesting game. And he went 1-0 up again, the second game in a row where I've conceded an early goal. But I get back back level on terms with Mario Balotelli there with a cross. And I thought I'd be able to go on and win this game. And I was actually controlling it. So because we got to the 60th minute pretty much, I actually went attacking to try and get that goal. And Mario Emnes there scores a goal near post shot in the 60th minute. And so now I've gone ultra attacking. And this guy yet again just capitalizes just a few minutes later. My defense gets completely split. M there slips through a nice roulette there and a great finish as well. It was a very, very nice goal. Can't take anything away from it. But this was one of those games, like I say, that FIFA throws up. A couple of goals in a, in six minutes. The floodgates open. Always happens to me. I always concede a, a shitload of goals in a very small space of time. We look at the match details here, guys. And you know, he had five shots, five on target. Look at the possession stats. 57% possession. My passing was better. It's just one of those games where he took his chances. I didn't take my chances for the second game in a row. And now we're putting ourselves into a little bit of danger in this division. We still need uh, a lot of points. We still need 14 points. But, guys, I went out and bought a new team after that game. And uh, it's a pretty amazing team. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, it's It's got to have a few improvements yet to, to go. But uh, here we go, guys. So we've got Muriel. He, I got him in a pack, actually, a little while back, if you remember one of the pack openings. Four-star weak foot, four-star skill moves. Insanely amazing player. 91 pace and 76 shooting. Very, very good. I picked up Robinho for 22,500. A little bit underpriced. He's got that four-star weak foot and those five-star skill moves. He's very, very pacey, and he's got the flare trait as well. So very nice. Unfortunately, the only bad thing about Robinho is his strength is pretty low. The next player we've got, guys, is Eric Lamella. Five star skills again, three star weak foot, only 82 pace, which is a bit of an issue, but he is left footed, so it's good for him cutting in, and he's got that 73 shooting, which isn't too bad. He was, of course, silver in the last game, so he should be pretty fun to play with on that right wing. And then in midfield, guys, we've got Hernanez as the first midfielder, four star skill moves, but a five star weak, weak foot, and he's got that crazy good shooting. Cost me 3,300 coins, uh, probably overpaid a little bit for him. The next player, guys, we've got is Perlo, the midfield general, 29,500 coins, underpaid for him by a few thousand uh, he's just insane that 92 passing 86 dribbling I, I expect him to be really really influential in this midfield since there are three of them and the next person we got is Marek Hamsic uh, I actually bought him because he looked really amazing 52 and a half thousand coins uh, but he's only got three star skill moves now I thought he still had four star um, I'm really disappointed that he's only got three star and that, that was a bit of a letdown uh, the first left back we got or the only left back we got guys is Pablo Amero 88 pace cost me 2100 coins he's um 
He's very, very good. Very fast, got good defending attributes as well. And then we've got Gambarini in defense, that's 78 pace. This guy cost me 1,000 coins, 80 defending, 78 heading. What a bargain. The guy is a legend. I recommend everybody to go out and buy Gambarini. He is a very, very good player. And of course, the other center back we've got is Ogbonna, 81 defending, 82 heading, and 80 pace. Another absolute gem in this division. 4,500 coins, so, so good. Then a right back, we have got the, the lesser version of Mycon. We have got Jonathan. Two star skills only, but he's got that 80. Pace. I got him in a pack, but you can get him for around 2,000 coins. And then in goal, we've got Federico Marchetti. Uh, great, great stats. His speed's not so good and his kicking's not so good, but he cost me 5,500 coins. Uh, other than Buffon, I'd say he's actually probably my favorite goalkeeper out of the division. Stecklenburg is pretty good, but uh, that's the team I went with, guys. So we went in a 4 2, a 4 3 2 1 formation. Um, we took this straight into another game. I was a bit annoyed that I lost the last game, so I really wanted to go out there and have a good win, you know. But this guy's got a strong BBVA squad, very strong squad. Uh, he's got a very fast attack. And yet again, guys, I've conceded first, as you're going to see here. A nice chip through ball over the top, and Soldado hits that near post. Uh, easy, easy, easy shot, easy goal, really. Um, and we get, a, we get a corner here in the 50th minute for him again. And corners, you know, corners OP. Look at his centre back there. Just standing, well, Busquets in this case, just standing in absolute acres of space all the time in the world. Just nods that into the ground and it goes in. And this, again, guys, is where the floodgates opened. I couldn't quite believe how easily he broke through my defense time and time again. Isaac Kuenka there, guys, the near post finish again. And that, that was in the 54th minute and then almost instantly. Look at that, straight from kickoff, guys. He picks up the ball. Just one pass into the into the attacking third. He's just I don't even know what what my defender did there. I don't know. And then that's terrible, terrible goalkeeping. I really, really wasn't impressed with the goalkeeper there. And uh, then not too long after that, he goes and uh, bags another goal. He, he puts Soldado through, steps inside the defender. Some terrible, terrible defending from me. Tried to pump fake the keeper, but it didn't really work. And Soldado put that in the back of the net for the five nil. Did manage to pull one consolation goal back, guys, but I definitely didn't deserve to win this game. It was a bit, uh, maybe a bit difficult for me to try and adjust to a new team and not using such overpowered players with the pace and stuff that I have been. So we'll put that down to that, a little bit of adjusting to be done. But I do think this will be a strong team. We're going to have to see, but we've put ourselves in a very, very bad position in Division 1 now. We need to win all the remaining games to win the division. Is it on? Who knows? Uh, if you could hit the like button, guys, that would be amazing. Uh, thank you all very much for watching and for all the support that you guys always and continue to give me. And thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Cheers.